did you ever wonder where we get bone marrow from, where we take the stem cells from? People always say it's the quote unquote hip. Here's the hip down here. We're nowhere near the hip. And they always say, we're near the spine. Well, here's the spine right here. No, we're on part of the pelvis called the posterior superior iliac spine. Hey, this is Dr. P and I got three secrets on aspirating bone marrow. People always wonder, where do you get the bone marrow from? And we say the pelvis and they think they get all scared. But if we have a patient and they're lying here and this is their spine, this is the pelvis right here and the hip bones connecting to the pelvis, okay? The ball and socket. We're nowhere near the hip. People always say, oh, the hip, the hip, it's not the hip. There's a, a spot right here. Look at this nice thick area on the pelvis, okay? The, it's called the posterior superior iliac spine. And so this is the perfect spot to harvest bone marrow. There's a lot of good bone marrow cells in this area, even into your 80s. So what we do is we numb the skin up, which there's, you know, there's no skin on this, on this model here, but that's where you want to go. And you can kind of see why going at an angle like that is probably perfect. But either you go straight in or this way, you don't want to go this way because then you're going to end up into bad areas. And, and really, you're just going in, and this is plastic that I'm going into, so it's going to be very difficult uh, to get this in, but some people's bones very hard. Now you see these little holes right here? Let's pretend we're in the bone. So I take this center area out right here and these little holes right here need to be into the bone so that we can put a syringe on here and pull the bone marrow out. But that's basically how it works. So it's not really three secrets. It's just basically number one, it's not the hip. So I guess that's secret number one. Number two, it is the pelvis but it's right underneath the skin in this way. And number three, we don't have to go in very far with our, our what we call trochar and cannula or our needle. We just gotta go in to where the uh, holes are so that we can pull the bone marrow out. And it, secret number four is actually, you can actually aspirate or take blood from the pelvis to make your PRP, your platelet-rich plasma, instead of having to take it from the arm. So those are kind of three secrets to aspirating bone marrow. It comes from the pelvis area, the PSIS right here.